recently I've been helping my parents clean out their basement and we found a lot of cool stuff from the 80s including some really cool old 80s cookbooks. Today we're going to be cooking a recipe from this cookbook, Betty Crocker's Creative Recipes. Okay, here is the recipe for cabbage patch stew. We have all the ingredients here. Cabbage, celery, onion, ground beef, chili powder, tomatoes, and kidney beans. Hey Abby, and I brought the Cabbage Patch Kids. No, Keith, it doesn't have Cabbage Patch Kids in the stew. Uh... No dolls were harmed in the making of this video. I can't think of anything more 80s than Cabbage Patch dolls. And for some reason, this is called Cabbage Patch Stew. I don't think it's related to the dolls, but it sounds pretty good. It looks pretty good, and we're going to give it a try. Step one, brown some ground beef. Add diced onion. Celery and cabbage. Season with salt and pepper and chili powder. Now we're just going to cook this until the veggies are all soft and a little bit browned. There we go. Now the recipe called for a cup of water, but I decided to go ahead and use beef broth because I think it will have more flavor. So we're gonna do a cup of beef broth and sort of use that to deglaze the pan and scrape all the little brown bits off of the bottom there. Lastly, we'll add the canned ingredients, canned tomatoes, and kidney beans. Okay, now we're going to cover it and simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, so our cabbage patch stew is ready. You wanna show it to them? I think it looks delicious. It's kind of like a chili. You know, it's got the meat and the beans and the tomatoes. It has one ingredient I think Keith is a little scared of, and that would be the main title of the ingredient. The, the cabbage. cabbage Patch Kid? No, the cabbage. Oh, the cabbage. Keith doesn't like cabbage, so, or he, well, let me rephrase that. Keith thinks he doesn't like cabbage, but I was trying to explain to him that when you cook cabbage, it doesn't really have a bold flavor. I mean, it, cabbage pretty much just sort of cooks cooks down, sort of like onions or something like that. Then what's the purpose of putting it in there? If you can't taste well, it. Well, it's healthy for you. I like the taste of cabbage. It does have a taste, but it's not strong. It smells strong, but it doesn't taste strong. Does that make sense? Um, okay, is this enough for you? That's, pl that's plenty. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna serve this up and we are going to try it and let you guys know what we think. All right, we have our bowls of Cabbage Patch Stew. Are you excited? Ecstatic. Okay, let's try it. What do you think? I think it's good. Not bad. Mmm. Now this is right up my alley. You know what it reminds me of? Goulash, but without the noodles. Yeah. Low carb goulash. <laughs> I like my stuff spicy. So to me, this seems like the thing that you want to put some Tabasco sauce. So I'm going to spice mine up. But she likes it spicy. But the flavor is good. You like the flavor? Yeah, it's pretty good. So now you must have had, you can see the cabbage cooked down to just about nothing. Yeah. So taste a bite that has cabbage in it and see if you change your mind about cabbage. I mean, it really doesn't impart it, any flavor. It has no flavor. Right. So there you go. It's the perfect vegetable. It tastes like meat and beans. Mmm. Well, meat and beans 
With the, with you the, like meat and beans. Yeah, with some tomatoes, so it's not, not bad. Mm -hmm. I think this would be good with cornbread. The recipe called for dumplings, but I thought that was kind of weird, so I didn't do dumplings. Um, we're just gonna have bread with it, but I think it would be good if, like, with cornbread, too. Or, yeah. like, crackers. Everything's better with bread. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Unless you're on keto or something, then we're you can, sorry. You can never do keto. Well, this would be a, this would be a keto friendly recipe. Minus I don't know if they do beans. You could take the beans out, but yeah. I mean, just the meat and the mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff. It's, and it's real flavorful. Yeah. So. Give it a try. Thumbs up. Would you eat this again if I made it? Uh, <laughs> would you, would you complain? Probably. And and then eat it. Well, you know how I feel about soup. This is not soup. Okay, you guys. We've been through this before. But this is called stew. Okay. Which means it's it's barely any liquid. It's I mean, look at this. But it's I, almost entirely meat. I would use the word stew and soup interchangeably. So you don't care for stews. It's not your favorite. Not my favorite. But you'll eat it. I'll tolerate it. Okay. I call that a win. And I would definitely make this again, at least for myself. Maybe when he's out of town. There you go. On business trips. Do that. I always make his least favorite things when he's out of town. I would definitely make this and eat on it for a few days if you were out of town sometimes. Well, so. there you go. It's settled. And then I'll play with my dolls. <laughs> Just don't cook them. No. No, we would never do that. <laughs> there they are back there. Look. <laughs> In the pot. They're still safe. All right. It's been real and it's been fun. It has been real fun. Yeah, you didn't have to do any of the work, though. I know. It's great. It's great. <laughs> All you do is come in here and eat. It's great. Well, she cooked it. I worked out. So, hey, win-win. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night.